I'm Patrick Bailey from whiteboardcoder.com, and today is July 6, 2017. And I did a video recently where I had to fix the outdoor handle on this fan, this 1999 Toyota Sienna. Uh, well, the next part finally died. So this piece finally cracked. Um, now the good news, I took it off. And I can actually kind of still open it by just pull it. And actually, also, inside of this broke. So these aren't attached anymore. At least this one's not. So I guess they all kind of age similarly. But the good news is I can kind of pull it and open the door. So we're okay for now. But I went and ordered some new parts online. And I'll show a link to that. Okay, real quickly. Here is the part I ordered from Amazon. And I'll put a link to it in the show notes. It's this PT Auto Warehouse TO T530EDS. And it's not the right color, uh, but it came in a pair. It was only 17 bucks. And after putting it on, it works just fine. Um, the only thing to remind you is it does not come with any special hardware. So there's no screws. So you got to keep that screw. Uh, but then that, it came with, you saw what, you saw in the video what it came with. And I put them on both doors. And so far, it's working fine. And so it's a set for both sides, even though the other side's still okay. It's probably going to die soon too, you know, just how things age. And so I'm going to take the door off and install this. Oh, and when I bought this, it did not have a, any, any extra hardware, so there's no screw. So make sure to keep that screw that came from the original one with you. Okay, so first, take it off. There are four bolts on this. Uh, so there's one here. Four screws, I should say. One here. There was one here, but we took it off. And there should be two underneath here. Uh, so you just got to pop those off. So just take that off, and then you can pry this open. And there you go. Now you can see them. So there's the one bolt, two that's already been removed, and then three and four. So I'll just take them all off. junk out because I gotta flip the door as I take it off. There we go. Okay, so now I gotta go work around the door and pop all this out, which I guess is already kind of popped out on this side. Okay, then I gotta pull. There we go. And then go up. He says confidently. There we go. And I think last time I flipped this upside down. Scott. Oh wait. There we go. It's got wired. Yeah, you have to come over here to see it. Two places. So one right there. Just gotta squeeze and pull that up. And there's one over here. Turn the door upside down. There we go. And so for this, just push that in. And work it out. And then the door's off. Like that screw's already out, and there's one more screw over here. And I haven't actually done this, so we'll see how this goes. I don't think it should be too hard. Mm -hmm. uh, last famous words. There we go. So I pushed it forward, and it came up right out. And then, oh, there we go. That just hooked right in. So I just unhooked that top one. And then we get to the bottom one. 
Oh, same thing, you gotta go all the way out. Comes right out. Okay, so now I got the new one. It should be like that. So I think I'm just gonna reverse that. So hook that in, go down. Oh, they both go down. And then hook that into that guy. And then No, am I doing it wrong? Oh, I got the wrong door handle, don't I? Yeah. There you go. Do I? No. The, the lock goes on the top. There you go. Yep, that's it. Right? Yeah, because it goes... You pull, pulls out. Sorry, I'm thinking you. backwards. Okay, so... That's the top one. This one's a lock. So, put it in the lock. Just hooking that one in. So now they're both in. And I can see I got these hooks here, so I gotta go in and pull back. So there we go. Go in and pull back. And yeah, it looks like they line up just fine. So this one should go back on before we put the door back on. And the other one should not because the other one has to go through. The other one, you're going to have to get this on later once you get the door back on. And... That's the right one. Uh, probably not. I think it's the right one. Maybe the same thing. I just put them all backwards? Maybe. Maybe. No, that was the right one. No, no. okay. before I put the door on anyway. But I just wanted to see if it would fit. Being a booger. Ah, there we go. So that's how it's going to go back on and then bolt in here, but I can't do it yet because i got to put the door back on. Okay, so that's going to take a little fiddling. It looks like it actually, do you see these holes here and here? It kind of hooked on this little nub here, and there's one on the bottom too. So that's why I gotta fight it a little bit. Okay, now door back on. So my door is upside down. And I will first hook this one in. Right there. Okay, and then that, when you put the door back the right way, and there's this hook right back here. And you can see that lever's on the other side there. Here, click. Oh, there you go. Should be good. And then we gotta get, kinda gotta hook it in the window. One of these it actually should. Now, if you look on the back side here, there's all these hooks that actually go in, but I won't. There we go. Here. Okay, so that's back on. And then let me get this back in. So do a little. There we go. I got it. 
almost. each other. Oh, there we go. There's a hook right there. Mm. That hooks right into there. That's what I'm fighting. Okay, so I gotta go back a little bit. You can feel that. Uh -huh. Look at that when you do it the right way. Almost right way. It feels right. I messed up something, so I'll take it apart again here in a minute. It is not. Feels nice, but it's not. This must not be hooked on right anymore. Okay. But I would put the bolts back on. I'd put this back on, slam it, put that back on, and I'd be good to go. But you would take it apart again and reattach that. Okay, I took it apart, but not much is going on back there. It's just, I think the, uh, Probably a little motor that helps lock is just toast or something because you can. So it's kind of barely moving. I took it apart. I think there's more in there that's kind of really hard to get to that I would have to fix, and I don't want to. So this this car now is a manual lock. Okay, so let me go put the rest of this back together and show how that's done real quick. So I'll just put these screws back in. There's only so much work I'm willing to do on a. 18 year old car, right? We take this guy, it's got these two that line up with these two next to the uh, screws, and you just kind of get in there. Just kind of hit it in. Except for when you don't. I got one more screw. There we go. Good as old. But just to point out, this uh, lock wasn't working before. So I didn't break anything that just wasn't working before. I just thought that mechanically this might fix it. But it's not. So good enough for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. To subscribe, just click the subscribe button. Also, you can follow me on Twitter under the handle at whiteboardcoder.com. View any code I may have thrown up as a gist uh, at GitHub under the username Patman Denver, or check out my blog site at whiteboardcoder.com.